What's cracking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Pennywise. Indeed, I mentioned I do have another album by Pennywise, which is Land of the Free, question mark. Uh, and that is the one we're going to listen to today, also on Epitaph, just like the self-titled one that we listened to last, last time. Uh, so the tune that I wanted to listen to, I mentioned, I think Fuck Authority is the most uh, popular and well-known tune. I think the Land of the Free, the you know title track, is also very uh, well-known. Uh, but I wanted to listen to Something Wrong With Me, because I find it very interesting uh, musically. This is the disc, by the way. Um, in graveyards in the back, you know, um, a lot that you can interpret from that image. Um, but uh, the song is very interesting to me. Um, musically, I just, you know, it's, it's rocking. It, it, you know, it kicks ass in a way that many Pennywise songs do. Um, but lyrically, it seems to me, uh, as if I'm interpreting the lyrics more or less in a, like, um, uh, clear way is that the the narrator is basically um, repudiating and criticizing I think parents or at least some members of their family um, for failing to understand you know what's inside his brain why he has chosen to live the life he's living why he's you know for example gotten tattoos and you know why he sings the way he sings and you know what he's all about um, and indeed, I think there's a fundamental disconnect because he eventually says, like, look, you think I'm rude, you think, like, you know, I'm crazy, but ultimately it's just clear to me that, you know, you are not like me. Like, you raise me to be a product of all this. You raise me to, like, you know, make me go to school, make me go to church, make me do everything that a good little boy is supposed to do, and look what it's produced to me. Well, it eventually made me resist those things. It eventually made me pull back from those things and not want to be a part of them. Um, so I do think the song is speaking about religion specifically. I do think it's also like talking about like the way in which, you know, modern societies you get sort of socialized into the status quo and just sort of like accepting that all these little like fragmentations and sort of like progressions of our lives as, you know, laid out by people, um, whether in our family or other guardians and so on. Um, like pulling back from that, I think, is something that uh, if someone is embraced by their family, it could be a very affirming thing, but in this case, I think there was a sharp rejection of what this person was becoming, and therefore there's this repudiation of the like, hey, look, you're just not really listening to what I'm saying or caring about why I may be doing or saying these things. Um, which, again, it made me think about the contrast with my own experience. Um, look, I grew up in Orange County. Um, my parents are very good people. Um, I would say they're sort of like centrist conservatives. Um, so as I was growing up and I began to listen to punk rock and I began to get into ideas and ultimately, you know, told them, like, don't really want to go to church anymore. I think I was like 14 or something like that. Um, my parents were awesome about these things. Ultimately, you know, they let me become my own person. They were, they continued to be very supportive of me and, you know, school in every other way. So, um, I got lucky, man. I have parents who, you know, do see the world differently than me in some ways. Um, although again, they're, they're very decent people and, um, you know, uh, that basically they do not fit in with, uh, the modern sort of conservative movement in the United States by any means. But, um, like I said, uh, they did make me, um, feel very uh, supported even at a time when I was sort of breaking away with what they may have thought was, you know, my life unfolding in a way that they had imagined and so on. So um, I got lucky. I didn't have the experience that the person in this song had. Um, so yeah, shout out to my parents and shout out to my family for being supportive even if I'm sort of, you know, an ideological outlier in many respects um, to, you know, sort of um, the, the wider family. Nevertheless, um, I do uh, think that the lyrics uh, really struck me because of that contrast and it was just like, man, like, I can only imagine, like, what if my parents were like, nope, you know, you're either coming to church with us or you're getting out of the house, I don't care that you're a teenager or whatever, like, I'm sure for many people that is the stark, you know, reality and like, even if you were to bring up the possibility, I imagine there would be severe consequences. So, um, yeah, it, it is interesting to me for the contrast. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. This is Something Wrong With Me by Pennywise on their album uh, Land of the Free, question mark, from 2001 on Epitaph. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, he does literally say mom and dad, yeah. It's like guitar work. Remember this interlude part until it just got to it, and then it was all right. Tempo shift, little build up. Yep. Right back into it. I forgot like just how rip roaring the tune was. I really love that song, um, and it's funny because like I listened to this album a lot when I got it, and then you know I mentioned it before both with punk rock specifically and in terms of my larger and much broader like musical interests. I sort of like go in rotations where I'm listening to certain bands and certain music types, and then eventually I get back around to the bands again and so on. Um, and I remember like the early 2010s, I sort of started listening to the the couple Pennywise albums that I had a lot again. Um, and this was one of the songs that really stuck out to me. Um, so let me know if there's another tune on this one or the self-titled one that you'd like to hear reacted to. Um, I'm sort of like enjoying getting back into the sound a little bit. Uh, so yeah, let me know if there's one you'd like to hear. Other than that, thank you for listening and watching. I do appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.